Indominus Rex, level 40. This is like, he's got like bigger spikes and like red all over his, like his neck and his head and all the spikes are red. Looks pretty sick. Go. Landscape page. Use pencils and eraser sketched out lightly. Hit pause if I go too fast. Focusing on his head and maybe like some of his claws. So like, it's kind of like a half body sort of thing, right? So let's start with his eye. So you want to draw a small little eye up here. Center point is about here. So you come up and then across. We're pretty close to the top of the page. Just enough, you want to leave a gap, you know, for the spikes and stuff. So we'll go. Curve line like so. And then another curve line down this way. And then in there, right, so he just has this glowing sort of red eye. And it's just all red, it looks like. But I'm going to give him like a, like a cat-like sort of thing like that. So then around there, right, we have this like like a half circle or like it's like an eyebrow sort of shape right and it's very it would nearly be a circle it's kind of a little bit square and then there's all eyelid lines and details around this right so like textures for skin all coming around right and it's like this eyelids and bags underneath his eyes and stuff like all wrinkly sort of things all here right we could do some skin going this way and so lots of this kind of eyelid lines and everything okay so all sort of wrinkly there now this is like a frowning sort of like it's like a bone that runs along the top of his head right so above it we got this little bump there and this will run all the way down towards his nostril right so like it'll curve down to like there and then you've got like this teardrop shaped or raindrop shaped nostril just right there right and you could fit probably an extra like two eyes in there this whole like the eye shape just if you're wondering how far to bring it so see like this gap will go once probably twice and then so there's a bone right in between so we got like another one of these shapes on the nose it's kind of a bit wider on this one a lot of the carnivores in jurassic world seem to have these kind of a thing things on their face and there's another one sort of back here right but it goes around that's the back of his head first. And this will go down to the bottom of his skull back there. And then this other sort of hole or bony section kind of a thing. Here. Like that, right? And then it's kind of like, we'll make him look like he's kind of like. So he's got like loads of wrinkles and stuff on all this. And all these bones, right? All this sort of texture on his skin and everything. Just sort of crisscross kind of lines like that. And maybe some like going down this way. So see all these wrinkles and stuff around us skin like that and then we're going to do his like his kind of his top lip right so it kind of curves around here and then I'll bump a couple of times right so it'll go like up and then down again and then it'll go up to here right and about here underneath this part the teeth grow right out from his face he doesn't really have gums right so what we got to do is add these sort of bumping lines for each tooth so you just go up down all the way around the front of his face. We're going past the nose. Okay, all the way up to there. And then this bumps back up this way. 
and up here we get like all these vents or like armor plates or scales that kind of stick up a bit right like that and then there's another little sort of texture line going that way and then so you can add scars and stuff i like adding scars to dinosaurs so like i'm gonna put one here and then like this bumping sort of texture just coming along his top lip it's kind of like his bumping mouth area and then you can add more texture along his face little scales like these sort of clusters of circles together and then like lots of sort of imagine you're like throwing a net on top of them and there's all these sort of crisscross net lines basically this kind of stuff okay he's got like loads of spikes on his head but they kind of start here so like i'd say i'll do like the top of his head kind of here and we get like one big spike going this way it's like a horn we'll put like some textures on all this right so his bottom jaw right will go it connects here you do like this curvy area like that right and then this will go bumping down this way and again all the teeth have all these it's kind of like a wavy line right so you're going to do like this sort of wavy line and each little bump down will be a tooth because the teeth come right out of his skin it's different to other dinosaurs right? and that's like his chin there so in his jaw is real skinny jaw and it's, he's a real skinny chin so it comes around that way right and again i'm going to add like some scars and stuff so like some right. and then he's got some like again some like skin lines and wrinkles on his mouth here And then you can add a, a, like again some like crisscross lines it's a vector so they're kind of curved right so you're following the shape of the thing because so you're just adding these and like some circles and stuff clumped together like that and that's all you really need to do to get the texture of his skin and then so he's got this piece of flesh that like connects his it's like webbing you know between like frog toes or something it's just a piece of skin and then it's got like some textures in there as well like some lines that go like that and in there he's got like a big tongue so it kind of like bumps and then bumps down this way kind of goes behind his teeth back there right so we got to draw it goes in behind his teeth so I guess we'll do so we'll do the other side of his mouth first right so it goes sort of like it's got this uh, again a sort of a wavy sort of line that goes up this way kind of into the back of his throat there and then another piece of skin that goes up and then this other inside of his sort of mouth again it's kind of wavy bumping around each Thing like that right and that goes around so there's like a tooth here so teeth start there okay and then every in every gap you want to start putting a tooth and they're kind of they're pretty big some can be going in different directions I like that way I'm going that way maybe and we're going to put like two here and then some coming around the other side of his mouth 
coming out from the gum line in there. And then you'll have some lines on the inside of it. This would be like pink inside here, because it's all like flesh inside. And then the teeth stick up here. So we got like some small ones. They're kind of, yeah, they're kind of small here. And then they're like a bit bigger. They're pretty small on the bottom. sort of there and then like some extra little sort of texture lines just down around here okay so his neck goes this way right comes out from here and then the top of his head back here has all spikes sticking out of it so you can't really see the the top line so we're just going to start adding spikes coming down coming down here and they're kind of like square kind of things right so we'll go like some of them are small some of them are bigger we may have a gap every now and then So there's like a line of small ones and then there's bigger ones in between. So we gotta do the smaller ones first, kind of, and there's like a real big one here. And then his back sort of goes this way. This kind of bumps here. Right, so lots of spikes now all in this area and then like long ones and like some in behind those ones. So no easy way of doing this. You just gotta like add them. So big ones here, like rows and rows of them. And these all look to be like red. And there's some up here as well coming out from like the other side of his head it looks like and then we have those long spikes like coming out in between right so like you know like these things these long skinny ones this kind of stuff These will all be red inside as well. So all those are like all colored red, right? And then there's some that come down the back. There's like two rows. There's a row of small ones and then really big ones on the back. So the small ones are in front. So we'll do those first. So you just add these like zigzag lines, basically like this. And then there's like another row here, right? And then these go into the skin, right? But they're kind of 3D. So you just add another line of them, like a line onto each one to make them look like they have an angle to them. And then when they touch the skin, you know, you've got like just a line, a light line here. 
And then there's the big ones in behind. So like there's one just above his arm. So we go. There. And then we just keep going. Okay, so there's more spikes here, but we'll, we'll get maybe the main shape for the rest of his body sort of in first, right? So like the front of his belly, like his chest sort of area comes that way and it goes behind an arm, which is here. So you've got like a shoulder muscle sort of a thing. I'd say sort of here, right? And then he's got like a bicep, like a tricep. which comes down to like an elbow there. And then his forearm sort of hangs like, you know, a velociraptor's kind of hands hang down here. And this is all sort of shoulder and armpit and stuff. So got a hand going this way and this comes down to like all big claws, but we'll just like add that like that first. And then we'll like finish the belly sort of hangs down underneath. So we go like around this way. Up to there and then down and then his leg is like there and that goes behind his leg. Right. And then his other leg, like you can just see like the calf muscle and maybe like the knee and the shin and stuff just going that way. Right, so all the textures and details and spikes and stuff all in there. But we'll just get his hands in now. So like claws coming down. Got these bumpy sort of skin ends just hanging down with big sharp claws there. And then the, so the thumb kind of goes in behind a little bit right and this will have like all of these sort of skin lines right and then so the other hand comes out down, got a finger here with this round section, and it looks like he's got a thumb sort of in here somewhere. So there's like a big spike here, and then the thumb kind of goes back around that way. And then it's like the palm of his hand, and then his wrist goes that way, and then a big spike here. And then like another finger sort of bumping out around here with a big spiky claw there somewhere. Now, so that's the main shape of the body that we can see. So now we just got to add texture and more spikes, right? So he seems to have like lines of spikes that come down this way, right? So he's got some that come out from the side of his head beside his ear first. So we'll go this way. And they kind of get a bit smaller as we go down. Another one coming out of his jaw. Nice. And then add again another line. Coming down the middle of each one, and then you want to add a little sort of bump on the bottom for where it joins the skin. Mm 
Nice. And then we'll do, so he's got like lines that seem to like come down this way on the neck, right? And then like veins on his neck, so like these kind of things. And some like darker shadows underneath. So this would be like a thick line for those sort of T-Rex kind of style veins that they have. And like his spine going that way. Okay, so getting there now. So now what we have to do is do textures everywhere. And then he's got the red and there's some spikes here actually as well. I missed them nearly. So he's got some spikes on his elbow. There. And of course, if you go over any lines, you erase them. And then he seems to have some hanging down on his from his arm on the other side, so we can just see them like here. Now, so the textures on the rest. So you're gonna follow. So it's like imagine you've like cast a net over the whole dinosaur. So you're just gonna do these kind of broken lines coming around the neck and the body and the arm and everything. Over his leg, see, follow in this direction. Over his calf. On his neck and everything here. All right, so you want to go curving that way, one direction at first. But then you add the next one. So you'll go like around the belly, like this way, say across. And up the arm, down the arm, across the hand. Like all these sort of circles and stuff clustered together. Make them look a bit scaly as well. Down the leg. And then you want to add your color and a bit of shade. And I might do like, you know, roaring spit lines. Kind of like that. Just showing some stuff coming out of them. And of course, he's, it, all those red lines are just done with like paint or marker or something, whatever way you want to do it. So I think I'll leave it there. Indominus Rex level 40. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.